this is all going to come back to you from last year. I bonk all these pages on their poor little old head. And then I take one of my deadly dangerous shark tools and I slide it through the number three hole. I'm helping you so. You're helping so? With brand new eyes when you try to mix the colors. Like just that brick wall right there. There's so much um, to see when you try to start matching the colors of the natural world. Like Nathaniel might want to put clouds in the sky or have a cardinal flying off. This is a good time to do some, some uh, self-motivated work that you're in charge of. Like thinking back to that person that lives in Hawaii who you've ne you, who's never been here, you might want to add more than just my favorite and state's flower, but you might want to describe it a little bit. You know, one day in the fall, I went out on the porch and I got real quiet and I was watching what the squirrels were doing outside. And they were climbing around her dogwood tree, devouring all those red berries. Oh. Those red berries that the dogwood tree makes are good food for squirrels and for migrating birds. So things like that you could add in to, you know, to give more information to your page. You're about to see books that have been made by all of the fourth graders in the county. You're going to pick up on your way in a piece of cardboard and there's some questions. Describe a page in somebody else's book that you find inspiring. You guys know what the word inspiring means? Yeah. It, 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 it encourages you. <laughs> <laughs> it's 3.30 in the morning. Tonight I'm at Kendall's house. I cannot see the moon, so I decided to make and it crossed it. You know, I'm really proud of you guys for taking your moon journals and pulling them out before you fall asleep on the night of a sleepover. You are so pretty and bright and I love you with all my mind. And when I get afraid at night, I look at you and I feel all right. Moon, white luminescence, laying on grass in the ghost sky. I love you, moon, and all your different phases, whether waxing, whether waxing, waning, or half Half or full, your beauty still amazes. Tonight it was pitch black and I could see some stars, but only a few, and I've seen some clouds. What do you like about it? Mm -hmm. I like her sky. Mm -hmm. I like her tree. Yeah, I do too. Thinking about all those things that we did together, did you have any surprises? I didn't, I didn't think that like, the teacher would, would like, let you use like, the sharp needles that you to stuff together. So, did, was that cool to be trusted to, to do something like that? Yes. Alright. My little cousin Emma, um, she got like a stack of paper, a copy paper. Yeah. And she goes, Cassidy, Cassidy, help me fix a moon drop. Uh, they loved every minute of it. I did not have to mm -hmm. nag and mm -hmm. cajole and I just say, remember, don't forget, you know, remember take your moon journals home. And they already had it out. And they were really faithful to do it and anxious to share. Making this book and working in it every day, what was satisfying about it? Every time to be creative and take a look at her mixing the colors. And, and you were going to grade papers that day, yeah. weren't you? <laughs> I was proud that every night I got to draw something because usually when I'm at home I'm usually bored. The fact that they get to make their own book and it's so special and dear to them, they bring it home to their family and then uh -huh. my older two that have already done it help uh -huh. Michael with his. There's a lot of parents that probably don't pay any attention to the moon phases. Write us a letter about something you're glad you learned is what would happen if you never came to Penland, we never met, you never made a book, and you never kept the moon journal. What would you have missed? Okay? So write that down. It may be hard, but never give up.